Marijuana enthusiasts in Michigan are preparing for the return of the biggest cannabis competition in the state. This morning we are talking about the High Times Cannabis Cup and how the community can now help crown the king or queen of the crop. Here now with more on how you can be a judge is Mark Kaz Kazanek. He's the director of events and competitions for High Times Michigan. Mark, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Jen. Thank you for having me. Of course. So for those who are not familiar with the High Times Cannabis Cup, tell us a little bit about this event and its return. So this is actually the largest cannabis competition that we have ever done in history or that anybody's done in history. And this is to identify and award the best cannabis products across all of Michigan. And this is expected to be a pretty big event. How many people are you expecting this year? So there's no live gathering. We are building 3,300 judge kits across 17 categories, both adult use and medical. We wanted to make sure that we had separate medical categories set aside for the patients that have helped build this industry, especially have been supporting us over the years as High Times comes to do events in Michigan. Across 3,300 kits, those are gonna be distributed to 34 dispensaries across Michigan. We got House of Dank, we have Pure Options, we have Higher Love, Puff, the list goes on. And we could not have done this without the help of our support and partners, House of Dank, Pure Options, Cannaboids, and of course Hyatt, where we are making this magical process happen with all the judge kits. So let's talk about those judging kits. What is inside of it and how can community members get involved in this if they'd like to? So you'll see some of them staged behind me. These are High Times backpacks. They're very cool. And they are filled with products that are submitted into the competition all by category. So for example, we're gonna have several flower categories, which will have anywhere between 38 to 42 individual one gram samples for judges to take home and judge online over the course of 60 days. How does it look, taste, smell, feel, burn? And then a whole short answer form where people can go wild. I smelled lemony diesel aromas, bright green fluffy buds with, le with red hairs. I took a walk with my girlfriend with my dog and had a euphoric experience. We want all those details. And so there's not one big event. This is going to be happening over the course of several weeks. You have a lot of participating dispensaries. Um, in terms of when the king or queen is crowned, is that going to be done virtually or will that be done in person? That will be done virtually. So all of the judge kits go on sale April 16th in preparation for our beloved holiday 420. And then judges will have 60 days and then we're going to announce the winners later in June on a digital award show. And we'll announce first, second and third place and get these Canvas Cup trophies out to the winners. And what does it mean for the growers and the companies who win each category, aside from just, uh, you know, uh, uh, respect from others in the industry? Obviously, it's a point of pride for them. But what does it mean for them? You know, this is seen as the Oscars of cannabis. High Times is a globally recognized, most well-recognized brand in cannabis. And we have been running these competitions since the 80s in Amsterdam. So winning this award skyrockets these brands into the stratosphere. It helps them with distribution. It helps them with sales. We see consumers and judges of all kinds rushing to the dispensaries to find and purchase the winning products. I've also had stories where growers will get discounted lease space on cannabis cultivation rentals because the landowner knows that they're a Cannabis Cup winner, they're gonna do great business and they're gonna pay their bills on time. It's and, cool. and Mark, b before we let you go, obviously this is a cannabis event, so we wanna make sure people know that there are age restrictions here. Can you talk to us about those? Absolutely, so in the state of Michigan, you either need to be 18 or over with a valid medical identification card, or simply an adult who's 21 years of age or older. And across our 34 dispensaries, some of them are gonna be adult use only, some of them are gonna be adult use and medical, and some will be medical only. So a word to the wise out there, identify your dispensary, identify if you are a medical patient or an adult use user, be ready for April 16th. And that's when the kits go on sale on the 16th. Where can our viewers go for more information, Mark? Go to CannabisCup.com. You'll see all the categories listed. You'll see all the dispensaries listed. And if you want to be one of the first ones to get updates on judging, sign up at CannabisCup.com slash pre-register, and we'll be notifying you as we release the pricing, which is going to be coming out next week. Mark Kaz Kazanek with High Times Michigan. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.